Hello all, hope you're enjoying your weekend and actually going outside, unlike me who has spent their entire weekend fiddling around with their vault. So um, in this video I want to, I explained this in my kind of last couple of videos, how I want to make my vault feel like it's actually buried in the ground, as opposed to in a giant cave basically. And my big issue I had with that was the fact of the exits, and how Beatty when you other than the main exit up there, when you have, um, if you have another exit like this, you're gonna see all of the cave surrounding it. It's just gonna look a little bit, just looks a little bit shit. The, I like the idea that, you know, you're buried underground, as opposed to necessarily, you know, in the giant cave. So basically, I've devised a method of actually enabling you to seal off your exits, I guess. So what I've gone and done is use concrete um, now the concrete actually snaps perfectly onto these do um, onto these doorways, which is awesome. It, you know, it does actually snap onto it really well. Um, you are going to have a little bit of an issue, which is what I'm going to show you how to do. Because what you can do is you can just snap a doorway on, and then snap the concrete on. And if you're really lucky, because it does stick in, it does actually snap into the walls a little bit. So you can actually block it off without any, using any select or glitch to move it into place. However, to be honest, you're normally going to get a little bit um, of, for example, snapping the ceilings on. As you can see, I've got this little gap here. So I could have snapped all of this on, but have left those tiny ass gaps there and there. And it would have been a bit of a pain in the knob. So I've basically set up a couple Oh, by the way, I said I'm trying to make my vault kind of feel like it's been repopulated by the wasteland. So the idea that they found this vault and they've started decorating it, or, you know, just setting it up, but it's not necessarily like Vault 81, I'm experimenting. Currently, this is quite a satisfying lighting, which is why I've deliberately overcompensated by putting cables everywhere, as you can see, to make it look like it's been wired up. But I'm still umming and ahhing, which is why why it looks the way it does here is hydroponics again not really done anything to it I've been collecting all these because I intend to use them for thingies right so here's one of my exits right now are we doing this one we'll do this one all right so basically let me demonstrate what you can do now it, you might get lucky but to be honest you're probably not gonna and I don't believe I am so basically, you can just snap it on. But already I've got a little gap at the bottom. Bottom gap's not too much of an issue. This one... See, I had an issue with this one, where I could snap it here, but I couldn't snap it there. For whatever reason, it just didn't want to snap into that part, and I'm going to have a gap over the top. But you can, depending on, like, if you're further in, you know, you can do it. Right, so let's... Let's do this one. So this one's really simple. We can always already identify. So basically, I don't need any in there. I need it on the top. Let's make it too high. And it needs to be too deep at the side. So it does. The only thing you're going to really struggle with this is you have to basically use the pillar to glitch it into place. Now it can get completely up against it. You shouldn't have any issue with being any gaps between the vault door and this hall here. However, what you're going to struggle with is getting it straight. Now I literally, before I was standing here like this and kind of lining it up, and then I realized, and for some reason I did it on this side as well, but then I was looking at it, and I was like, wait a second. And it's basically completely sheer on this side. So basically just do, do the glitch on that side. Yeah, right. Okay. Let's find an open space. Here will do. Now, the good thing is, you may notice... Well, not the good thing, but it's initially worrying thing, I guess. But it is good, because you can sort it out. Um, is the fact is that because, obviously, you're in the tunnel, you can't necessarily... Or you might feel like you can't necessarily snap your walls in so much you're actually good to go to be honest because what you can do is you can use the pillar to basically sink it into the ground and then you can snap further on so let's have it so it's gonna be completely sheer so we'll have to do it from the back there we go you see i've not um scrapped anything in my tunnels this is why i actually restarted completely um like i reloaded um from because i saved deliberately before I started the quest, because when, when I actually did it, I went through this entire tunnels and just scrapped everything. And because I'm not having my vault, my vault ends there. And the various exits. I want these to feel like tunnels we can go exploring. Um, and they were kind of empty and shit. So we're going to just pop this in here. Now I said I don't need... Let's see over here. 
Um, I don't need, because I've already identified, but I'm going to put it anyway. Get in there, you prick. This fact will do it aside just for a sec. Even though I know I said we don't need it. It's easier to snap it there than it is. Uh, right, we'll take that one off. So don't need them. Now, normally, the good thing is you don't even need a roof on this one as well. I will show you the other one, because I'm just going to do both of them right now. And that... He's got one more, doesn't it? In the centre. So what we're going to do is we're just going to pillar it in. Going to get a little bit closer. Now you might find struggle finding an area where you can do this, but it's fine. There we go. Grand. It's all gravy. And there we go. And that's just how you can do it. And just get it in. And then you can just pillar glitch it back in. Because I said the the pillar glitching things into the kind of the existing scenery not an issue at all Is it one? nah I'll be fine yeah I'm worried I've got the length of it wrong but we'll see up we go see we can just move this here like this get it some more I can there we go now as I said it's going to be completely sheer to this part so this should be fine and dandy. This is probably the easiest one. Like the what the door exit you saw earlier was an absolute nightmare. But just basically, you're gonna have to fight. Sometimes it will go red by dint of some of the surfaces that block it. So you just have to kind of figure out what's stopping the glitch from working. Um, unfortunately, because of the fact that your exits will be different in different places to mine, there's very little I can do. So sorry, but you're on your own basically. You might struggle a little bit. I think that looks, looking at the angle, it looks good. I'm just going to get it nice and close. Cause, and also make sure it's raised up. Not too much. So you can raise it down a little bit, which is what I'm going to do. Actually, not might be a really good idea. Let's just do one thing. Let's do one thing, one thing, one thing, one thing, one thing. Because basically, normally what I do is I raise... I raise it, um, I sink it into the ground a little bit because you notice you see the, the walls are a little bit raised above. But what I can possibly do is snap it underneath like that. Because basically if I would have it completely level with that, there would be a slight small gap. Whereas if I just, I didn't, didn't occur to me to do this, basically just save us a little bit of a headache, wouldn't it? Um, and there we go, that's grand. Okay, cool. Right, so... I'm worried this might cause an issue, though. It might cause an issue, because it might cause an issue where if I try and sneak it back in, it's not going to work. Get in, you prick. You dickhead, honestly. Getting close. Run! Give me a moment, yeah! There we go. So I hopefully can still... Without it jump because it might jump up now. In that case, I'll have to accept the fact. That oh no, we're good. We're good. Oh wait, no, we're, we're not good. Come on, in we go. I might not be able to do that. In that case, I've wasted your time. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take those off. Right, okay. So that was a little adventure that you learned that you can't do. The reason why that wasn't working was because you can't sink something. It, it's awkward to sink stuff that you've already sunk in. It's fine, it's fine, it's a learning experience. I'll just have to sink it in a bit more. I can probably just use this to get it straight. You see right where in front of the pillar is? See that part that's just disappeared, yeah? That's how I often use, how often I get things to the right angle. So if I pull that back, I can tell that's more or less completely straight. Shear against that. Deliberately have it dug in a little bit. And down we go. Get it just so the bottom of the. Beautiful. So we go out. Yeah, look at that. And it just kind of. Like you can decorate this as well. But that should be perfectly centered. There should be no gaps. And it just feels like it's actually... Yeah, 
Yeah, look at that. And I'm at us That's actually not too bad, but it's a little bit. It's a tiny. I might tweak that, but I won't bother doing it now. But there we go. That's how you do it. Right, I'm just going to quickly... What we'll do is we'll quickly do the next one as well. Um, so I can do both exits. And then both my exits to my vaults... Or my vault, rather, are all sealed up and secure. One sec. Occurs to me I should probably show you where it is. So this is hydroponics. Got one exit down there. One exit down there. And the one's other side of hydroponics. Really windy. Windy, windy. Sub-levels. Now this one, this one, I've already set up, <laughs> because it's quite a pain in the ass. I think I already set up. Did I set up? Yeah, there it is. Is that it? Yes. Oh, this is a fun one, isn't it? have to move this back a little bit first. I'd actually set this up like even much much earlier as well. I was gonna do this earlier today and I thought no I'll have some food first do my thing and then I will record me doing it. So same we're gonna go here as you can see what I've done is I basically what I what I generally do is I snap if I can snap the door on I will and then I basically just start snapping the concrete and see where the issue areas are. So this one actually has that side there. There's that part there. You get my point. It's generally gonna be quite easy. Also, you can then use these to kind of do like new areas of the vault. Like I have an area separate to my vault, which I will be showcasing. Spoiler, because I already tweeted it out. It's going to be a shield, the Silver Shroud secret headquarters. But please don't tell anyone. Yeah, it's secret headquarters. I'm working on it now. It looks like a bat cave. It looks pretty cool. Actually, it, it doesn't look cool yet because it's not finished. <laughs> but it will look cool. That's the, the idea. Anyway. Right, so let's just get this one here. Yeah, look at that. If this isn't perfectly straight, I don't really give a shit, because I'll just i do it when you guys aren't around. When you guys are hanging around, yeah? I'll, I'll do it. So, it, it's going to be, to be honest, you're pro this, getting it angled and straight is probably the thing that's going to take you the longest. So, just my advice, like, I've quick say before I start recording this, I will probably just reload later. Oh, that one's been a bit... Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. I think it was being a bit... But yeah, just just quick save. Whatever you're doing something like this, this is... Because basically, if I were to not quick save, I'd have to literally redo this each time. Okay, let's go out. Yeah, see? And see, I knew I was perfectly covering up this area. So now... Now... My vault feels like it's completely secure. It is... Completely surrounded by the concrete. It looks baller as fuck. I've probably not made it perfectly sheer again. It doesn't matter. Look, you can just fiddle around with that. I just didn't want to, you know, waste your time. I'd have to keep recording. Anyway, I hope you guys find, found that useful. I'm going to be building a lot on the weekend, and you are going to get quite a few vault videos. As I said, I'm not going to be doing kind of a building up the vault video, um, because to be honest, it's probably not ready. It's literally just modular, but I'm going to do things like layouts of the vault, how to maybe set up certain rooms, just something where. Yeah, you know what I mean, because basically everyone's vaults are going to kind of follow the same format. But I figured rather than just, this is where you can put this room, yada, 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 yada. Um, instead, it'll be better if I just show you how I've set up particular rooms and done certain things. Alright, anyway, you all enjoy your weekend. As always, follow me on Twitter, at no respawns. I'm curious, especially in regards to lighting and decoration. Because ultimately, after you built your vault, this is what most of this DLC is going to be. It's decoration, which absolutely fucking despise um so please send me over pictures or little twitter videos of what you've been doing that'll be grand anyway you will take care